Country's Economic Hub is embarking on a consultation process that will see one of the busiest roads in Johannesburg renamed. The municipality is calling on residents to have their say whether William Nickel Drive should be named after liberation icon Winnie Matigizela Mandela. We'll bring you this report. The popular William Nickel Drive, which runs through many of Joburg's posh suburbs, such as Bryanston, Hyde Park and Fourways, is known for its wide and busy lanes. It was named after William Nicole, who was the administrator of the then Transvaal between 1948 and 1958. This road was initially called P791 when it was first built in the 1940s. However, it became known as William Nicole Drive in 1967. Jobbikers have mixed views on the proposed name change. Many taxi commuters believe that it is necessary and it will serve as a reminder of Winima Dikizela Mandela's contribution to the liberation of this country. While some believe that with the current economic challenges the country faces, the renaming of roads should not be a priority. Others maintain that finding a balance is key. I think it's a nice idea to review, uh, you know, city and road names, but I think, you know, with the pandemic and the effects of the pandemic and with the economy's current uh, state, uh, you know, the current climate, I think money should be spent where it's needed, you know, for, for people that, that need it, that's lost jobs and are going hungry. So, yeah, maybe later, but not at this point. Meanwhile, some opposition parties in Job Exit Council have raised concerns about the renaming process. As a DA, we are completely opposed to the renaming of William Nicol Drive. Uh, in, the initial, in our initial objection, we have raised the issue that the process has not been followed correctly. We also raised the issue that the councillors whose, whose this uh, road is running through have been affected and no consultation has been done with them. While Ingata Freedom Party says it is necessary for the road to be renamed. The AFP supposed the proposal to change William Nicole Drive to Winima Tivizela Mandela Drive. We all know Mam Winnie. She was a freedom fighter that fought for our freedom. She is an icon that must always be remembered. In fact, the city of Johannesburg is late. She should have been honored while she was still alive. Meanwhile, the NC administration has assured residents that this process will not compromise its service delivery obligations. We want to assure residents that this particular step will not be taken uh, at, 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 at the expense of any other priority that the city has in ensuring that we provide service delivery, we support our communities, and that we assist our economy in Johannesburg to recover from the devastation of, 20, of, of the COVID-19 virus. However, it is a step amongst many other programs of the city that must be undertaken as part and parcel of our process towards a world-class African city. Those interested in making their voices heard on the renaming process must do so in writing to the Arts and Culture Heritage Office at the 27th of April. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Zeniko Mshaba in Johannesburg.